John knows that now that he has started fishing, he will have 48 hours to get his catch and be back in port to offload. His buyer has become accustomed to the highest quality fish being caught, processed, and on the dinner table within no more than four days of harvest, and in some cases, just over a day. You've got to land tomorrow afternoon or something and you need a truckload of fish and it's still stressful, but that's fishing. John has been fishing for just over 38 hours and there is approximately 50,000 pounds on board. He is right on track with his timing and catch estimates. I believe we got a little bit more room on our quota to make another tow and the fish are there and we are here, so we'll try one more for the day. The crew is hauling in the last set and preparing to transit back to port and offload the valuable catch. We're targeting both the round market and the uh, uh, fillet market. For round market, it's very important to have good overall appearance. Close to a tan almost. We're trying to get the fish as perfect as possible. Quality's everything. If we want to be competitive with world markets, we have to bring in a good quality product that the people want. From the boat end of it, we're trying to instill more of an emphasis on quality, less of an emphasis on quantity. Our regular draggers have shorter trips, uh, land more often. We don't land in Vancouver as often because it's further away from the fishing grounds, so we have them land on the island, which gets the product uh, down to us faster and allows the fishermen to operate on shorter trips. Uh, that's improved our quality. Uh, that's in the overall trawl operation. We've also gone to more iced fish and, and less slush, which uh, increases the shelf life. It also increases the appearance of the fish. You don't get as much of the scaling, uh, where if it's a red fish, it's got all the scales on, and in certain markets, appearance of the fish is also important. That liquid they have right on top of them, that's great. Okay. So I'll be down in San Francisco probably by tomorrow, and on the shelves by Saturday. The fish that was caught, some less than 24 hours ago, is now on its way, and will be on dinner plates from Vancouver to California in less than a few days. Roast it for 15 minutes. The comprehensive monitoring program allows for the fish to be tracked from the time and location of where it was caught all the way through to delivery to the marketplace. So from a custody chain level, we follow the fish basically from the vessel to the end user, which is basically in our standpoint, it could be A, a wholesaler or B, a retailer. This is a fresh fish, lots of slime on it. When I opened that box of fish, I got very excited. I found freshness. When I got whole fish on the counter, we get a lot of curiosity. First and foremost, just how beautiful they look. When I picked them up and pulled them out, they were straight in the rig. How can you tell that's fresh? It's very simple. Look, I push down on that, and it doesn't, first of all, it doesn't even go down, but when it does, it bounces up so beautifully. That got me excited. You have so much fish to work with, you're going to make the best out of it. Quality is a big part of the future of the ground fish industry. Freezing and boxing at sea and live delivery are some of the ways in which industry is strengthening existing markets. They call them Lincoln Cowboys. They go down there and they wrestle them into these trailers we have. We're in Ukulet, BC, and we're unloading our live link cod from our, our previous trip, our last trip we did. We get in this morning and uh, they're taking our fish to sell it. No, oh, it's of course the same as any fishery, everything's a challenge, but uh, you have to try to keep them alive down there, of course, or you, you don't get the live price for them. And since January, I think, you know, we've had zero dead, so none at all. It's actually pretty even amazing to me. <laughs> Everybody's after the best quality and the better markets. This is as good as it gets if you're delivering it live to the public. Um, same with any other fishermen, it's our livelihood and we want to see it keep going. Bringing in less amounts of fish and bringing in better quality, it's better for everybody all the way around. Our quotas will last longer and uh, it's better for everybody. The beautiful thing is our fish comes in really cold water. Off shore so it's nice and clean water and it's handled properly until it gets to the customer. There has been a, a resurgence in interest in wild but our strength is in the fact that our product is wild and um, we will 
continue to use that in our marketing programs.